Revelation 17, verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of our fornication. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem Rakahakwadash, Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh, meaning He is to be, He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning He is the deliverer, He saves, He is salvation. Bahashem in the name, Rakahakwadash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one rule world who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth of risk of the own lives through the four, four corners of the earth. To the Akwathim, listen, listen, and learn it in sincerity and truth and in silence. Shalom. Akyam, meaning brothers, Akwathim, meaning sisters. Shalom. Meaning peace be unto you. It's your brother Shema from the GMS Toronto camp here in Toronto with another lesson. All right, don't want to make this too long. A couple of precepts, but not, none of this. Everything as we, see, as we see it, none of this is going to matter soon time. None of it, man. All right? And the world, the inhabitants of the earth, we just read in Revelation 17, verse 2, hath been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Right? The wine being the philosophy, the way of life, the American dream. Right? It's poison. Right? And the inhabitants of the earth, they're drunk with it, man. Staggering in it. And none of it's going to matter soon time. Revelation 17, verse 1. Right? And who does it matter to? It matters to these, these, these heathen nations. Uh, Two-thirds of our people. Right? They've invested in this world, man. Revelation 17, Verse 1, And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. Right, so there's an angel about to impart on John, John the Revelator, visions. And this particular vision, it reads, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Right, the judgment of the great whore. The judgment of the great whore. Who is the great whore? America the great. So this angel is about to show the judgment that is written containing these scriptures. Coming for Babylon the great. America the great. The beast. That sitteth upon many waters. Right, The many waters is people. Is people. America the great is a, is a great melting pot. All nations are in America. Doing what they want, worshiping what they want, doing as they as as they like. Right? All kinds of abominations. All all nations are in America the Great. Verse two, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, right? So all these rulers of these other nations, they've had to sell out, they've had to bow to the beast. Right? Fornication. They're in bed with the whore. Right? Scriptures say he enlarges his desire as hell. Right? America. There's an embassy in every country in this world, man. And the ways of the, the ways of America, the degeneracy of America is spread throughout the four corners of the earth. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk Right, the inhabitants of the earth. Right, everybody on this planet is is, is drunk with 
the ways of the West, the American dream, right? Capitalism, do as thou wilt, get money, chase that bag, uh, 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 satisfy your lusts. It's all about lusts. Right? And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication, right? The wine of her fornication, right? The wine being her philosophy, right? Right? And the Lord's about to shake this place up. A time like no other is about to touch this place. Jacob's trouble, right? So, all, everything that people uh, 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 labor for. Everything that people have, have, have uh, uh, put their trust in, all these idols, right? Money's an idol. Success is a, success is an idol, man. All right? Because who successful in whose eyes? Esau's eyes, man. Not in the eyes of Yahweh Shai. Right? Esau's eyes. Isaiah 19, verse 1. And it reads, The burden... Of Egypt, right? America the Great, Babylon the Great, right? Spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom. It's talking about America. Behold, the Lord Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud, that's a chariot. The swift cloud are the chariots, what the world every calls UFOs, the ships. And shall come into Egypt, America, right? UFO, so called UFO invasion. This is how the Lord, this is how our Lord Yahweh Shai is returning. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, right? The idols of Egypt, the idols of America. Money, success, degeneracy, lewdness. Right? Abominations. Right? Transformers. Right. These are all idols of Egypt. This is the this is the wine of her fornication. This is the wine of America. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. Right. The Lord, when our Lord returns, all of this, all of this is going to be done away with. And the heart, heart being mind, of Egypt, America, shall melt in the midst of it. Right. So all, none of this is going to matter soon time, man. Right. None of it's going to matter. The only thing that's going to save you in the times to come is being of the elect, Lord willing, we're of that number. And with that comes the belief in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right? And only the elect are going to believe. Two thirds are going to perish. And these heathen nations is not for them. Right? Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk 2, verse 13, and it reads, Behold, behold means look, is not, is it not of the Lord Yahweh of hosts, Lord of armies, hosts being armies, that the people shall labor in the very fire, and the people shall weary themselves for very vanity, right? And that's what we see out here, man. That's the rat race. Right. Weary, weary themselves. Weary means to make, make tired. For vanity, emptiness. Right? It's all about what you own, what you possess. How big your house is. How many whips you have. How many cars. What's your wardrobe look like? What's your bank account look like? That's all vanity. Right? And right now we see it being dismantled. <laughs> it's crumbling. There's people all over TikTok and social media. Instagram and Twitter, all over social media, crying about not being able to make ends meet. Crying about what does tomorrow what does tomorrow hold? Right, but the elect aren't going to be in that spirit, man. Let's close. It's a rock. 
right? The elect men of the Lord, Lord willing over that number, they're not going to be in that spirit, man. The elect men are going to be like, F this place, man, right? The elect men of the Lord want the Lord to visit. They want, they want to see, a lit, the elect men of the Lord want to see this place shaken up, man. The elect men of the Lord want to see great fear come upon two-thirds of a people, upon these heathens, scrambling for answers. Zerach 23, verse 4, and this is the mind state, and this is the prayers, this is the mind state and the prayers that the elect men, Lord willing over that number, the prophets, this is the mindset that they're in. Zerach 23, verse 4, O Lord, Yahweh, Father and power of my life, give me not a proud look, right? Keep me humble, Lord. But turn away from thy servants, right? The servants being the elect. Always a haughty mind, right? Keep me humble, Lord. Don't make me, don't make me be proud-minded. Verse 5, here's the point. Turn away from me vain hopes. Vain hopes, man. That's what this world is built on. Vain, empty, vain meaning empty. Vain hopes. All right, let's look up this word. Concupiscence. Con, con, concupiscence. Salakia. <laughs> Con concupiscence is a noun. This is the online etymology. Ardent desire, improper or illicit desire, lustful feeling, right? The lust, man. Right? The let men are saying, turn those things away from me, Lord. Don't make me be subject to that, man. Right? Turn away from me vain hopes and concupiscence. And thou shalt hold him up that his desire is always to serve thee, right? So the elect men are always going to be desiring to serve the Lord, man. Right? We, the, listen, brothers can attest to this, man. We get up, we look through the news feed, we look for news, attach it to the scriptures, and we prophesy, man. And we pray that the Lord brings destruction to this place. We pray that the Lord remembers the covenant. Make the time short. Right, we want out of here, man. Sirach 23, verse 6. Let not the greediness of the belly nor lust of the flesh take hold of me. Right? We're praying that we don't fall victim to it. Listen, this whole world is in, is in the lust of the flesh and greediness of belly. Chasing the bag. The, the cares of this life. Forwarding in Esau's, in Esau's kingdom, queendom. Babylon the Great, America the Great. A social media demon. Look at me. Likes, follows. Subscribe. Right? That's all folly, man. Let not the greediness of the belly nor lust of the flesh take hold of me and give not over me thy servant into an impudent mind. Right? And ultimately... You, 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 the, the, it's the Lord that gives you over to that, man. So we pray daily, Lord. Don't give me over to none of that, man. Keep me humble. Keep me in this truth. The water, first of all, for blessing us with this truth. Giving us the understanding. Right? But keep me, keep me, keep me in the truth. Right, don't give me over to it. Right, so with that, stay prayed up, prayed without ceasing. Call Allah Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem, Rakah HaKodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone to teach one of the rule who taught me this truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect.